Hi guys, I'm Danny, and I started the Sunday Gym because I've noticed lately that people tend to go to colleges and universities without actually knowing why they're there. Afterwards, starting jobs are unfulfilling, so I'm interviewing different professionals to see what they have to say and to share their experience and knowledge with you. I hope you enjoy it. Huh? Right on, Max, thank you for coming. How are you doing today? Very nice, and you? I'm doing well, I can't complain, thank you. And thank you for joining the podcast. I hope it's a nice experience. I hope uh, things will be quite something. I hope so. Right on. The podcast will be focused on three main questions. What do you do for a living? How did you get there? How did you know that this was the way to go? So, Max, tell us what you do for a living. I'm an entrepreneur. It's the best word to describe me. Um, now, at the moment, I manage four companies. One, uh, the one where I'm the more proud of is a French bakery in Sofia, Boulevard Vitocha, for those who live there. Uh, my second company is a co-working space, again, in Boulevard Vitocha, in Sofia. Uh, something pretty usual. I needed office, so I say, why not share it with other people? The third one is a cybersecurity company because I'm an IT guy at the beginning. I was trained in IT in France. And my last company is a French one where I work with school and formers uh, like university, uh, IT school, things like this, where I subcontract people. I help, I help former to find some some uh, I, I put in relation school and former to be to be easy. That's quite something quite remarkable. So <clears throat> I'm interviewing a man with four jobs right now. Yeah, is exactly. that something? Uh, normally, the second question is, how did you get there? But I'm going to give you some more time to answer this because there sure are a lot of things. Uh, first of all, uh, you're from France, right? Yes, as you can hear. <laughs> Absolutely. So maybe we can make the second segment a little bit longer because I really want to capture your story. Uh, born in France, uh, raised there. What happened next? Well, to be honest, I was pretty happy in France. I never had problem. Things were well, but uh, since COVID in France, it was very specific. It was very difficult if you are a free mind, uh, if you love uh, to do whatever you want. It was a difficult period in this country. And I in, heard uh, the same thing about Germany. Yeah, exactly. Mostly West Country, maybe. And also, there are other some difficulty from years also in West Country. We are not going to be political, but... No, that's actually the two rules of the podcast. No politics, yeah, no Yeah, exactly. But well, West people and East people, they both know there are differences into both in some thinking, living, and that's why you wanted to live more in a traditional country, let's yeah. say that. And in June, 2021, I went 10 days in Sofia just to check. I saw some people went there, French people too. And I was like, hey, it's very nice here. People are great. Sofia is a very nice city. Uh, the life here is pretty simple. And also pretty the... cheap and the taxes are lower. Ex exactly, exactly. I, so, I graduated in Denmark. I graduated Yobok University. You can only yeah, imagine expensive. how I felt when yeah. I went there and yeah. saw the taxes over there. I I was a lot of things happy wasn't one of them. Yeah, I don't have problem with tax if they are fair and if they are useful to the country. So I didn't come to Bulgaria to be to pay less tax. It's a good benefit, of course, but it was not my main purpose. And the most argument was in Sofia and in Bulgaria, there are a lot of opportunities. Yeah. It was insane. Like I stayed 10 days and I was like, I can create 
10 companies if I want here, there is a lot of things to do. But the main part was, I was talking with French people that were here maybe for months. And I asked why there is no French bakery. I don't understand. There is no what? French bakery. Uh, bakery? Yes, bakery. Yeah. Yes. And you know what? Yeah. The... I've been here for like 30 years. There isn't a French bakery. Now that I. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> and in every capital of the world, there should be French bakery. It's not normal. So. I have, I've never seen one now that I. Now exactly. That exactly. So I told French guy here, hey guys, why there is nothing? And people were like, yeah, we don't know. It can be a good idea. Maybe we'll see. I was like, okay, okay, don't move. And next week, I moved <laughs> to Sofia. <laughs> I put everything I had in France uh, for selling, to rent, uh, things like this. And I moved to Sofia. Nice. And that's when I started uh, to work on the bakery because it opened in August of this year. But it's been one year of work. We had a lot and a lot and a lot of problems. And not only from Bulgarian people, a lot of also with French people. And after that, we needed some office. So let's go, open a co-working. And after that, I met a lot of French people good in cybersecurity. So I say, OK, let's open a company, no problem. And things were going like this. It's remarkable. This story is, it's like out of a movie. You know those 80s and 90s movies where a guy moves from one place, goes to another, starts something, and you know this quick montage that the business grows and grows. Yes. This is how I <laughs> see maybe because I have it, have it in me. And uh, Thanks. Yeah, it's truly remarkable. And uh, how did you knew that this was the way to go? Because... I can see you are a serious person. You're very flexible. You have enough knowledge. Uh, you have that ability to see, to observe, and to fill up, to fill fill the soil, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But how did you how did you get there? Is this uh, something that you there, there was a gut feeling? Was it uh, in a result of a conversation with someone? Were you prepped about this, something like this in university? No. How did you know that this was the way to go? And the, the reason I'm asking, uh, I, I had a, a, a former roommate of mine, uh, now a, a, a professional security guy, uh, also a Frenchman. <clears throat> he said, uh, and I thought I talked about uh, this with him, and uh, you've noticed later that people tend to go to colleges, universities, uh, with this stigma that they're going to secure their future if they have a degree or a diploma. And mm -hmm. this is happened that happens in France. I have people in India, yeah. China, all over the world. This stigma has been burned inside the young people's mind, which is crazy. Not only it doesn't uh, secure your future, it also loses a lot of time. And I've always said that I'm not against colleges and universities or academia. Yeah. I myself went there, so I'm very fine with yeah. it. I'm not okay with people losing their time. I love it when you said, I went there, it took me 10, 10 days to figure it out. Perfect. But imagine have, losing four or six years, sometimes even more. And what do we have now? We have 24, 25 year old young people without working ethics, without professional skills, without practical skills, without any knowledge whatsoever, which is criminal. And uh, when I started the Sunday Jam, I had to place a brief description. Uh, on my Gap and on, on my Twitter account. So the description is, time is the only resource we can't allow to, to lose because we don't yeah, exactly. lost a lot of things, but this is important. Exactly. So this is the whole concept of, of my podcast. So how did you knew that this was the way to go for you? What what drove you? What pushed you? Well, in before I was a normal guy. I went to high school. I was a normal student. Uh, then I went to IT school. I was a good student and I was thinking of the classic scheme, like have a good work, invest a little uh, and earn maybe 2,000, 3,000 euro. Maybe by the end of your life, you will earn 5,000 euro per month. But one day I had a new job 
and like a very good job good colleagues good place good salaries baby food and like everything you can imagine in a good job and two weeks after i was like i can't do that for 40 years it's not possible i can't it's not possible you literally and felt it that yeah, it was for you yeah i wasn't happy but we everybody told me that that's the goal of the life to have degrees and to work and to be a good citizen and i was like no 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 i can't so i left <laughs> and i went to the army <laughs> <laughs> I went to the army. It was very nice. It was a very good experience. You 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 do things there that you can't do anywhere else. So it's it's nice. I think every man should go for the army for at least one year. And I couldn't agree useful. more. Not to mention it, it kind of installs that discipline. Thing. Yeah, exactly, exactly. But after I wasn't happy in the army. Even everything was good, I wasn't happy. And I say, okay, Max, you can't work a classic job. You can't be in the army. What, what have you, what, what is, uh, sorry for my English. No worries. What is the, the only thing that is left for you? And I say, okay, start a business. Maybe it's the only thing is good for you. So I started one and it doesn't, It didn't go well because I was with one of my best friends of the this this year, and not we were not compatible, so the business break down. But it was yeah, okay. Actually, I just I noticed start, uh, that concept that it's never well, maybe not never. At least I don't know that example. But it's not a good idea to start a business yeah. with your best friend. Exactly, exactly. But it was okay. The I I learned a lot. It was very nice, and I just started another after that, and for maybe one year, one and a half year, I was a freelance in IT. So it's not entrepreneurship, but it's nearly like, and that's when I started to have the entrepreneur spirit. I wanted to try things, and once you're when once you're started. It's over. You 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 can go back. You you start a lot of things. You try new things. You fail. You learn. And if you work good enough, result will come. It's that simple. Yeah, I, and this is something that I think it's locked in our DNA as a species. I had a friend of mine a month ago, and uh, he said that uh, his grandmother lives in a in a village here in Bulgaria. And mm -hmm. that was this old table. And he said, I've always hated this old table. I've, I've always wanted to throw it away, just buy a new table and forget about it. But she lo she really loved that table. So he had to fix it. But he had to fix everything. <clears throat> Once he did that, uh, afterwards, that was his favorite table. He said, "If uh, after she passes away, I'm taking this table for, for here, for Sophia. Mm -hmm. So w once you start doing something, you, your soul kind of stuck part of your soul is already there it's remarkable to see it yeah exactly <coughs> excuse me a little bit under the weather so it's uh, it's really a great story um can you also give me the address of the bakery because I, i i like to put it in the description below yeah of course it's boulevard vitosha for four Yes, just before H&M. All right. I think, I think yeah, I think uh, I figured out where it is. Good. Right on. Well, uh, Max, if there isn't anything else, uh, huge thanks for taking the time to, uh, to be on the program. Uh, special thanks for being the example that you are and all the best. Thank you very much. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Guys, I hope this one was useful. Please follow the channel on YouTube, Rumble, Gap, Twitter, Facebook and LinkedIn. Ring the bell and all the good stuff. Have a nice week ahead and I'll see you next Sunday.